Hey everybody, James Yeager with Type Response. Thanks for watching. Well, if you watched three battles, the, the first part, I talked about these three things that we go through uh, before, during, and after a gunfight. And I want to elaborate on them a little bit. It's uh, a couple of things have happened since that video several years ago, uh, including uh, something that happened last week. And, uh, and I want to try to help you guys navigate these very rough waters. Frequently, I get calls from students who've been to Fighting Pistol and things like that, and um, and we're somewhere around 50 uh, students right now that have been in lethal force confrontations, and um, a couple of them have had uh, legal issues that uh, were attached to that, uh, and none of them have, you know, all successful, but with various levels of cost and things like that and so i want to uh, talk about these things revisit these things again with uh, some new perspectives because when a student calls me for help it hurts me when i can't help them because i am not an attorney uh and uh, and so let's talk about the three battles again if you guys remember um i talked about these before the gun battle the legal battle and the emotional battle check this out the, the gun battle um, <laughs> is probably the easy one. So I know how, how much you guys like it when I use my, <laughs> my dry erase board and stuff. So the gun battle, mindset, tactics, skill, gear. Those are the four things that we need. A good, solid, positive fighting mindset, solid tactics. The better our mindset and tactics are, the less gunfights we get into. Skill. Do you, do you have to be a champion shooter? Of course not. But you have to have a survival level of proficiency. Gear, all the stuff that we carry every day. When I was a cop, I was lucky enough to be able to call for backup. Uh, when I was in Iraq, I was lucky enough to be able to call for a QRF, or Quick Reaction Force. Who are you going to call for help in a gun battle? I mean, certainly if I'm around, you can give me a call, but most of the times these things are so spontaneous, we can't, we can't call for anybody for help. That's why it's so imperative that we train and carry, we're vigilant, things like that. Um, the legal battle, both criminal and civil. Okay, those, it's, 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 you're fighting two, two, two fronts at once at some point in time. And I want, this is the question I have for you. Like, if you needed an attorney right now or whatever the case may be, who would you call? Because I know who I would want to call. And um, because I want, you know, I want some heavy hitters. I want the wolf. I want the heavy hitters coming to help me. And so I can help you with the gun battle. And I can even help you after with the emotional battle. I can be a friend, but I can't help you with the legal battle nor can I call you to help me with the legal battle. And so uh, a while back, with my own money of my own volition, I, I, I joined the USCCA. And I'm going to talk about why, number one. First off, before any benefits, alumni, um, Kevin Michalowski, the editor of the magazine, and several other people from the USCCA have come to train with me. And I've known Kevin for over a decade. And when this thing first started, I asked Kevin to go, hey, man, you know what's up he said james is legit kevin's a former police officer um I, I, again a friend of mine somebody i i could trust and he's also somebody that if it was kind of a shady thing he'd have been like don't worry about it james but no he didn't he said hey this is good several people have come through from the uscca over the years and i've been able to interview them um, off the record and they all believe in what they are doing and i mean to a person they believe in their mission, and that's relevant to me. It's relevant that they're that they, not only they are of the mindset we need to get training, you know, uh, but but also that they believe in their mission. Uh, so that's why I joined the USCCA without anything else. Now, cost people people want to know what things cost. I get it. This time, I need you to understand what it's worth, and I'm, I'm telling you. When you need to dial that phone, when, when, you, when you need backup for the legal part of it, you want there to be a number. And you, you want there to be a number. And I'm telling you, what that number is worth is beyond calculation. It's beyond calculation. Um, so, uh, been, so since I've joined, <laughs> benefits, they have tons of uh, books, ebooks, and, and videos, and articles, uh, even uh, training uh, thing, uh, physical training, and stuff like that. So a lot of stuff that I didn't even realize, uh, other than you know the the you know the the, the legal stuff um, that I didn't even I, I didn't even realize. So 
what what did what did I sign up for? The attorney part. Now they don't have attorneys, but they got a checkbook, and it's kind of like kind of like your, your your uncle with the, your rich uncle, okay? And you need some help. Boom, they're gonna they're gonna your lawyer. Boom, they're gonna fund that stuff, and that is worth so much. Again, cost. I get it. Worth is something else. It's like uh, it's kind of like the the gun safe that you've bought. Yeah, it costs money. What's it worth? And uh, th those things are um, incalculable sometimes. Now, I'm going to put a link below, and I, I just encourage you to. I'm not trying to sell you anything, okay? I just want you to look around because when you call me after the gunfight and the legal fight has begun, I'm going to ask you. Who are you going to call? Like, who is your backup? Who 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 is coming to the rescue? And and I literally mean this because I've been called again fifty times, and I always ask, "Are you a member? Do you have a resource? Do you have a way uh, to to fund this?" Because the the government has tons of money to prosecute you. You have finite funds to defend yourself from that Goliath. And I'm telling you, you need something, uh, whether you think so or not. And uh, so if you want to just uh, check check out the link below, I'm, I'm telling you, peace of mind is worth something. And then finally, the third battle, the emotional battle, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, two things must have to occur for you to get post-traumatic post stress disorder, disorder is something outside what a human being would normally encounter, and you have to feel helpless about it. Training and things like being a member of the USCCA will help you to not feel helpless in situations like that. Uh, proper training, mindset, and all that stuff will help you stop, help you not feel helpless in a situation like that, and is actually an inoculation against PTSD. And I know that sounds weird, a weird way to tie that in, but it absolutely, but it absolutely is. Your life will change after you've been in a lethal force encounter, but that doesn't have to mean it gets worse. It doesn't have to mean that your savings account is empty. It doesn't have to mean that you're dragged through the legal system with, without any backup. This is James Jacob for Title Sponsor reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight, and I'm giving you help right now with that, never ends.